So on July 2nd, 2010, I was sitting on a jet ski behind my dad's house on Lake Harrington. It was truly nothing out of the ordinary. Been on the water for years, had my boating license for years. There was a 17 foot bass boat coming under a nearby bridge. He was headed towards my mom and my brother. My mom screamed. He banked it to the left and never straightened up. So he hit me from the side going about 60 miles per hour and I sustained many life-threatening and lifelong injuries. I sustained a severe traumatic brain injury classified as shaken baby syndrome. I shattered my jaw, which was replaced by three metal plates and 12 screws. So my face is entirely metal from here to here. Broke my neck, broke my collarbone, lacerated my liver, shattered both of my femurs. When the boat landed on top of me, the propeller landed on both of my legs. My left leg was under the water just enough that it only required stitches, but to this day there are pretty distinct scars where you can tell what had happened, and my right leg was severed by the propeller. The man who ran me over was three times over legal limit two and a half hours later. This would be his fourth DUI, and most certainly not his last. I knew that I wanted to be the last little girl this would ever happen to, and I knew that I would spend the rest of my life fighting for a day when there would be no more victims of drunk driving, as it is truly a 100% preventable crime. And so with that, I got involved with Mad Kentucky as a volunteer pretty soon after my crash. And so I stayed an active volunteer through that time. When I graduated from UK, I went to work for another no national nonprofit doing research on BUI, and DUI, drawing a parallel between boating under the influence and driving under the influence. That research was funded and published by the US Coast Guard. And I truly wasn't looking for this opportunity with Matt. I was, I was happy to volunteer. And the board approached me in the fall of 2020 and asked if I would be willing to do this. And so it has been the wildest almost 11 months of my life, but it's been very exciting.